Well, good morning, everybody, and happy new year. I cannot believe it is already 2024. Thank you so much for watching Colorado and Company. Well, one way to kick off a new year is with some laughs. That's the best way to kick off, and we knew just who to call for this. Nine News viewers might know him from the game day live show here on Nine News. Look at that. I love this photo. Dave Logan. But did you know that Sam Adams is also a comedian? Well, we knew that, and he joins us now with more on his upcoming show. Sam, great photo of you. I love that. Oh, uh, that was the photo of hope. Ah, yes, photo <laughs> from, of hope. From a huh? couple seasons ago. Okay. It was like maybe divine intervention. Mm. Yeah, exactly. We're kind of still on that divine intervention hope for a lot of the things yeah. we're talking about with our Broncos. But hey, I want to talk to you about your holidays. Um, a lot of us, of course, were a little surprised this holiday season because we were all so excited to watch the Broncos on uh, Sunday on New Year's Eve. And we all heard that Russell Wilson got benched. How, how'd you find out? What did you, what'd you think? Well, well, first of all, I was on a ship. Yeah. Uh, I was working a cruise gig during the uh, Christmas holiday, okay. uh, Central America. So I actually picked up the radio call of my buddy Dave Logan yes. uh, while I'm on the ship. Oh my gosh. And so I heard that New England game and uh, a couple of days later I, I got Wi-Fi and I'm on ESPN.com and yeah. I see a picture of Russell Wilson and Sean Payton mm. but all the story is in Spanish. Oh no. Okay. I, don't, I don't speak Spanish. Sure, sure. Uh, I can't read it so I had to get somebody to interpret and when I took a screenshot and showed them they went whoa not good for Russell. <laughs> Benched. <laughs> yeah, not good for Russell. How did you think the Broncos played despite the bench? Uh, you know, offensively, 16 points is not that great. No. But I think what the coaches look at is the vision that the quarterback has of the field. Right. Are you seeing all the field? Yeah. We're going to get technical now. Oh, then. that's okay. We can Are get Are you technical. seeing all the field? Yeah. And my belief is... Sean Payton didn't feel like Russell Wilson sees the field in sure. the way that Coach Payton would like his quarterback to do. Makes sense. Makes sense. So now you have this problem with money plus the way the position is played. Yeah. And somebody's got to go. Yeah, absolutely. And unfortunately, it was Russ on the topping block. Okay, well, enough about the Broncos, enough about Russell Wilson. Let's talk about you, Sam. It's so great to have you back here. First of all, New Year's resolutions. Anything that you have for the year? Uh, less photos on social media. <laughs> oh, less in general. You know, five hour flight back from uh, Costa Rica. Sure. And what you do is you just sit there and delete, 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 because there's nothing else you can do. You right. get bored. And so I started deleting. I thought, man, how many pictures of me did I take? <laughs> Just yourself? A yeah. lot of selfies. Yeah, so, okay. you know, to, to, to stay <laughs> off the phone. My, my eyes are getting old. I'll be 64 on Sunday. You look amazing. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You can only wow. shave so many times. There you go. Okay. But uh, but I, I thought, you know, stay off the phone. Yeah, yes. that's a good one. That's a really good one. I think we can all do that. You know, sure. I've done a lot of the other things over the years of yeah. losing weight and uh, all everyone those has things. That one. That, those become regular. Exactly. Stay off the phone. That's a really good one. I'm going to adopt that one too, Sam. Okay, I want to talk about your show, Press Pass. What can we expect from this show? You say that it's different than any show that you've ever performed. Tell us all about this. Yeah, and and, and, and I'll put a little twist on that. Yeah. Uh, I performed it twice okay. under the name Game, Set, Match. Ah, okay. We just rebranded it to Press Pass. Love it. Uh, but it's a show that's based on I'm gonna ask my, them the real my, my career as a sports journalist. Yeah. Uh, press Pass. When you are working in media, you get a press pass so that you can get into the locker room, you can go to the games, you get behind the scenes. Well, now this is me taking people behind the scenes of my career as a sports journalist, the people that I've met, yeah. funny stories about the people that I've met, big names, yeah. uh, that is so but, cool. but stories that didn't make the paper or didn't make television, Yeah, uh, about people that you know, whether it's Tiger Woods, Charles Barkley, John Elway, wow. uh, local, national, yeah. uh, entertainers as well, Paul Newman, wow. uh, Kevin Costner, you know, I've got all these stories, yeah. and I thought, why not put them in one package that all ages can enjoy right. and you get to see uh, the whole thing about having a career. My career as a 
journalist and now my career as an entertainer. Yeah. They both happened in odd ways. Wow. So I talk about how they all came together. Sam, that is so cool. And what a cool behind the scenes look at something that really nobody gets a chance to see, especially those things that, like you said, have not been published or in, in those uh, papers and stories and stuff that you've done. So Sam, don't go anywhere because I have a million other questions for you, of all course. Right. But guys, you can catch Sam Adams at Comedy Works South tomorrow. For tickets and more information, you can head to comedyworks.com. And like I said, Sam is going to stick around because we have a few more questions for him. I could drill him all day, though. Oh, my gosh. We have been swapping so many. I say swapping, but I have no stories like you have, yeah, Sam. You my have goodness. Story. Your stories are incredible. Okay, well, we want to end the show on a positive and funny note. Comedian Sam Adams is, of course, back with us. Okay, Sam, you have some incredible stories. But what makes sports comedy stand out when it comes to comedy? Uh, I, I don't know necessarily uh, that sports comedy stands out. I mean, it's just... Uh, for me, like telling you the stories that I've been telling yeah. you all through the break, they're, they're just sports related. Sure. Uh, I think people really enjoy watching sports and when you can hear stories about some of the people that they've uh, gotten to see perform, right. some of the things behind the scenes, yes. uh, that's what makes it funny for me. And then people just like to joke in general. I mean, I was on the ship yeah. uh, in Central America when I found out that, that Russell Wilson was benched. <laughs> had a show that night and the first thing I said it was they bench Russell Wilson in Denver and there were people on the ship that like football and I said look you make all that money you are not sitting the bench you're going to do something you're right. going to clean the stadium <laughs> you're going to sell some popcorn you know you're going to do and and, totally. and people laugh because yeah. they identify with with sports. Exactly. Sports does really bring all of us together, so I think it's a great uh, launching point for you in terms of your comedy. What do you hope that 2024 brings uh, to the sports world? Oh, gosh. I, I <laughs> wish it would bring some, some, some levity. Yeah. But, but I don't know that it, it can. I mean, it, the business of sports, the money that's involved, yeah. uh, it takes away a lot of the joy and the fun. For me, uh, somebody who covered it for years, right. it's not a much fun because you have to be a, a, a mathematician as much as you have to be a, a fan. You're right. keeping track of salaries and you know, salary caps and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Uh, I just want to know who won and who lost. Yeah, hey, me too. <laughs> the salaries get a little depressing after yeah. a little bit, yeah. Okay, so any advice for aspiring comedians or even journalists out there? I mean, I know that uh, the journalism world is kind of a hard one to break into, but comedian, uh, co the comedy world can be difficult too, right? Well, here in Denver, Danny, the comedy scene is so competitive. Sure. And uh, I mentioned before, you know, I'm just turning 64 and I yeah. got all these little young whippersnappers behind <laughs> me, you sure. know, that are coming up in their 20s. If, if I could have started doing comedy in my 20s yeah. instead of my 40s like I did, um, I think it would have been better. But, uh, you know, if you want to be a comedian, you got to get out there and do it. And the same as a journalist. Yeah. Uh, Go out there and uh, learn from watching others who do it the best. Yes, that, hey, I think that is incredible advice. That's the way to do it. And Sam, your stories and your uh, just passion for sports and then just the incredible things that you've gotten to do, it, it's going to make it worth every penny and every moment to uh, come out and see your show. So thank you so much for being here today. It's been so much fun. And guys, Sam Adams' Press Pass Comedy Show is tomorrow at Comedy Works South. This is a family-friendly show, guys. All of you sports fanatics out there, get tickets now at ComedyWorks.com.